Christmas. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down, Vic. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Extra point attempt to come here. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is fielded just short of the goal line, but the fair catch means this drive will begin at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Vic operating on first down. On the move to his left. Able to shake him off. That'll be caught. It's caught. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Vic to throw it. He'll buy some time right. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. That play went to Bob right from the beginning because I think he hurt himself a little bit. And he ended up making the throw short of the back on the screen attempt. It falls incomplete. Third and long for Vic. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 24 yard game. Ready. On first and ten, here's Vic. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. So second and long, you got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. Short completion, just four yards. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Here's Michael Vick. Rolling to his left. He finds his man complete. That's done. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. Fourth down, Vick. early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on for a down.
They begin with a run by Davis. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Second and nine. There's Vic. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Let's go After now. an incomplete pass on second Matt down, that'll leave him trying to convert Stagger. on third and nine. Vic readies to throw. Getting this ball out wide for Davis. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They'll run for it with Davis. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line to his left. Vic loses the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and 10. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted the delay of game backs him up five first and 15. after the penalty it's davis and he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven the success there charles coming on the outside of the field the ground game curious to see if that continues as we progress yeah we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass but in this case was strictly the run game you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. On third down, Vic. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A great play there. 74 yards. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with him prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. The extra point splits the uprights. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking. But that's caught at the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way 
laid down inside the 10. A big play there for Philly. 69 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Steps away to his left. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Third and goal at the four-yard line. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From three yards out. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal. Because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Well, now how about this return? And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. So here's Vic following the interception, sliding out of the pocket. Vic loses the football, it's out, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. Okay, everything that happened before that football was great. Good vision, navigating the open field, got good chunk yardage. At that point, if you see a defender coming, up, just step out of bounds. Don't risk all you picked up before they hit to just try and get an extra yard or two. A first down carry for Davis. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. It's a play fake. Now Vic. That's going to be caught downfield by McClure. And they get this well pass midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Vic will look to throw on first down. This went into the hands of Pitts. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Kyle Pitts, 37 yards. And the Chiefs are able to stretch out their lead. They'll try and throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch part for both of those units and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them get out there now and get some points on this drive. Now a throw from outside the pocket, complete out left. 
And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A first down throw coming for Vic. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Eagles hustling to the line. Clock rolling. A gain of four. It's now second and six. At the Chiefs, 19 tight. To throw, Vic. That is caught by Dell. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. They'll look to throw. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So here comes the kickoff and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. The throw on second down from Vic, incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. That is incomplete. I'd give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Throwing Vick. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Vic goes play action. Rolling to his right. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. The 20! Touchdown! Philadelphia! A great effort there! In the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead into the locker room. Partner, you've got a pretty good hoops background. You've seen those late in the half plays designed to get them a last shot, give them momentum. I think this touchdown equates to that. Absolutely. And then they can take the lead here into the lockers. Big time play. Yeah, let's see what the design coming out for the second half as well. Oftentimes, you can get that momentum late. You find a way to carry it through.
Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? Feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. Vic loses the football. It's out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Goblin's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Being chased out left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, Davis. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Vic. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Now look at this, 4th and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Vic now. He's got a man. It's his fullback. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Up the middle they go. Done. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as he's able to get about three that time on third in inches. On play action, Vic. And it's caught. Touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That appeared like any routine NFL quarterback, but it was Michael Vick from the pocket, throws a touchdown pass. I just think about the transformation throughout his career. From Atlanta, where he would take off and go at just about the drop of a hat and turn defenses into mush. And then by the end of his career in Philadelphia, we completed pass like we just saw from the pocket, yet still had those great legs when necessary to help get him out of trouble. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Charles, still a one-possession game. Remember, it could have been two after they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Didn't get it. 
but their defense holds strong, and so this is a huge possession coming up here. You're certainly right about that part, and a lot of people looked at them going for it on fourth down as a failure when they didn't get it, but there's also their way of saying, hey, we have confidence in our defense because they went out and held them, got the ball right back for them, so nice stand for them. Momentum can swing back to their side if they have a good drive here. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Flush to his right. Vic loses the football. It's out, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down. And I do. But let's face it. You know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. Well, that throw by Vic incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. Buffalo 18, Kevin Pirates, Kevin Pirates. Now here's Vic. He's got his man sharp, complete. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Michael Vick. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So what can Vic do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for the two-point conversion. They'll look to throw, and this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Okay, the Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot Good. here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football. Oh, and now Vic throwing another interception across midfield. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. What a play. The big man comes up with the interception. Puts together Charles a nice little return, too. Yeah, he's not going to make anybody forget Daryl Green or Rod Woodson, but look at him lug that thing. He decided it was his. A lot of people might have thought about lateraling it there. No shot. Trying to take it the distance. They'll run on first down. It's done, and he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Off the play fake, Vic. 
And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. So they got the turnover started with great field position. But in the end, the defense able to hold firm. And they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there. That defense able to hold firm. Backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Vic to throw it. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, and now Vic throwing another interception. Picked up by Justin Reed. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. On first and 10, here's Vic. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Michael Vick. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And the Chiefs are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, OK, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. They pitch it to Davis. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. From the shotgun, it's Vic. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Derwin James with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And now the Chiefs will bring the offense onto the field as they'll go for two here. From the gun, Vic. 
And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles hands team able to cover it up. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. Play action now, Vic. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Here's first and 10. So here's Vic following the interception. They still can't get it. Shifts by him. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there is a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. And Vic's throw there incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is that he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They'll roll him out right. And this is intercepted. Fucking dog, nigga. You think I was going to try to pick some of that lineman, boy? You here. And he'll take this across. the points that we've seen scored neither defense has been at their best but these guys have been a little bit better Charles and a nice interception there yeah you're right about that Brandon let's face it it's not always how you start it's how you finish right so maybe you have a rough game all the way along okay, but if you make a big play like that at the right time it can make everything turn out just okay despite the late lead Vic's gonna throw rush coming and he's taken down Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. It's a play fake. Now Vic. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Ready. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's Vic. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking the lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. I, uh, I, I got nothing after that try. Yeah, don't even. Don't even try. I mean, he tried it from the parking lot. <laughs> Second back right around the 41-yard line. 
Well, this was a fun one today. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, 